picture? Yeah. Nice job centering today. Thank you. Yeah, I tried. So there's a yeah let's get started so happy june 1st everybody so Woo. it's cindy and christine with candles and supplies and we are doing some father's day inspired things lately so because father's day is right around the corner um but then it's june something it's june something yeah june a little later this month I don't know. I, I just like turned the calendar, so yeah. yeah. I feel like it might be 17th or something. Yeah, something know. like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, mid -month. prime time to later for start yeah. to sell for uh, Father's Day. Exactly. So start to think about Father's Day with Dad wants and everything. So today we're going to do a beard bomb um, for your hairy kind of fathers with beards and stuff like that. Beard yeah. bomb. Beards are still very trendy right now. Yes. So I feel like a lot of guys have them. Beards so. are very trendy. <laughs> yes. It's absolutely. also good for any time too, not just Father's Day. So that's true. All year round product, but that's true for Father's Day. And honestly, the beard bumps and everything from like swimming in the summer and your hair being dry if you're near the beach or ocean or pool. So I have a yeah. pool, we're not really near the ocean. But from swimming and everything like that, your hair gets dry and stuff. So yeah. honestly, I use this on my hair too. So um, it's good for anything. So good moisturizing of hair. It is. <laughs> yeah. So especially for beards. So what a beard yeah. balm is supposed to do is it softens, um, it shines, it makes the beard feel silky. Because typically like beard hair, um, mine doesn't really Scruffy, get this way. Yeah. yeah. But it's really, it's, it's like bristly kind of hair. So you want to soften it. You want it to shine and stuff like that. So you want it to be like super soft and nice looking so when you have a beard so that's the whole objective of a beard bomb so question then so what's a what's the difference between a beard bomb and a beard oil excellent question so um they're very much similar so you can also make a beard oil from this well we can go into that a little bit um but a beard bomb has beeswax in it so what the what the beeswax does is just kind of seals and protects everything so a bomb is is like a protectant right so Bombs, like, yeah, it's lip more solid. Balm, lip yeah. balm goes on your lips to seal and protect your lips. So this goes on your beard balm, goes on your beard to seal and protect your beard. So so that's the difference. But literally, if you took this recipe and left out the beeswax, you would have a beautiful beard oil. So Right. So that's just you're not getting that extra protection layer of like keeping the oils in. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Correct. Correct. So anyway. So we've chosen a few things. This recipe is actually very, very simple. Um, and we can post it in like after this, Christine will post it in the recipe and everything. So, so the main recipe, literally 75% of the recipe or 75 grams. This is a four ounce batch that we're doing. Um, I like to formulate in four ounce batches because it's about 100 grams. 100 grams is very easy to formulate with. So 75% of the recipe is going to be hair loving carrier oils. 20% of the recipe is going to be beeswax. 3% of the recipe is going to be vitamin E. 2% is going to be um, hair loving essential oils. Now that was all really, really fast. We're going to go through it slower, obviously. Um, what we've chosen today. So you heat all that stuff up and then you pour it into like a nice container for dad or any man that would love it. So um, so this four ounce recipe, you can pretty much, you can get like two two ounce things. This is a two ounce jar. This yeah, is a two ounce the glass jar. Soft jars. Yep. Those are nice. We have these two ounce tins, these two ounce heart tins. If you want to, you know, like give that a little heart bomb. Um, those are two ounces as well. So you will get two of them out of this recipe. And then if you just wanted to make one four ounce, we have four ounce jars that it goes in nicely too so yeah the glass jars are really nice the glass salve jars because they are they are, nice and yeah they're a, lot, a little more luxury and everything mm -hmm. and then like they can be reused and everything after too so exactly but i think i see like a lot of mass-produced like beard bombs and stuff in the tins yeah i feel it's like flat. bombs are very easy bomb to get out. Type of thing so. for the really your preference it's your preference of what you put it in so you can pick anything Price points gold gold tins too. too. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Price points are different, so yeah, depending um, on where your price point is yeah. and where you want it to be. So exactly. Um, if you have a clumsy dad, you may not want to play. That's so, true. Yeah. That's that's fair. <laughs> I mean, the ball might really make your hands slippery at all. Probably not too much. Of no, device. not really. It's yeah. yeah, it's not really slippery and stuff like that. So okay. So we chose for 75% of the recipe or 75 grams. So the only equipment really that you'll need to make this whole recipe is a little scale we use our little pocket scales because i love weighing on them a little scale 
um, I have a spatula to stir it up with and scoop it out, and then I weighed everything in a separate container. So some type of separate container to weigh your ingredients separately. I always like to weigh everything separately. That way, if you, when you're weighing, if the scale gets kind of goofy or whatever, or you lose track as you're like counting little bits or whatever, it's it's separated so it doesn't kind of blow apart the recipe. The recipe is pretty easy, so you can kind of adjust it. So. Right. So if you pour too much of one oil in, we already have two other oils in there. Correct. Not much you can do about it at that point, but Correct. if you're weighing them all separately, then you can pour a little bit back in the container or something. So True. Especially with these small amounts, I feel like it's a lot easier to do it that way mm -hmm. versus trying to do it in the big ones. I mean, if you're doing like a candle with fragrance and wax, it's not a big deal. True. So I picked six hair-loving oils, carrier oils. There's plenty, plenty, plenty of other hair-loving carrier oils out there. I chose these six. You can use as few or as many as you want. The whole recipe is 75 grams, so you can put 75 grams of whatever you want in here. These are ones to, that just I chose based on what I like and stuff like that for my, my beard. So, mm -hmm. um, first one we have is jojoba. So, jojoba is a very nice oil. It's closest to our own natural seasoning of our skin. It treats dry hair from the follicle out, right? That's very important. You want to have very healthy hair follicles because you won't grow a beard, you won't grow hair if your follicles aren't healthy, right? So jojoba is a very, very nice one. Without, it's good for people with um, oily skin or dry skin or normal skin because it's closest to your own semen. So yeah, that is more of a luxury oil. Yeah. It is a luxury. I put a lot in here. So I, that's in this recipe, there's 28 grams of jojoba oil. Um, and I've all pre-weighed this out and it's, it's melting back behind Christine um, on a griddle. You'll need some type of heat source to a double boiler or a griddle. Um, since there's beeswax. Did you do it in the microwave? Um, since there's beeswax, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. It takes forever in the mm -hmm. microwave. So um, it's a little easier on a double boiler or on a griddle or something. Okay. Next thing we have is 20 grams of hemp seed oil. So hemp seed oil is very dark looking. So this is this bomb is going to be like yellowish, like a darkish looking one. Um, it's not going to be white. So I, I like the natural kind of rugged color, especially for beer bombs, because guys are natural and rugged. They like to be natural and rugged. So so I don't mind the color of the oil. It does come through in the in the final product a little bit too. Yeah. Um, I feel like something that's white too, guys may not always spread everything in completely. So if you have something that's white and dark beard, it could, You're right. it could show a little bit. That's true. Dark that's a good point. Natural. That's a more. That's a good point. I never thought of that. Good thinking. She's in charge of thought and brains. So, um, but what hemp seed oil does? Hemp seed oil increases the blood flow, creates a stronger, healthier hair follicle. Remember, we're going for healthy hair follicles to produce hair, nice, healthy hair, and everything like that. So that's what hemp seed oil does. Next, we have argan oil, um, and argan oil is used in loads and loads and loads of different hair products. You see it in shampoos and all kinds of things, um, conditioners and that type of thing, because argan oil is really nice. If you ever put just straight argan oil on your hair, it feels like so nice and soft and silky. So straight argan, argan oil makes it feel a little bit heavy too, um, but it, it makes your hair feel really nice and soft. So. Yeah, so one of those main components that people like, I don't even know if it's a main component, but all the shampoo brands like to like specify right. argan oil recipe, blah, blah, blah. Because it conditions, it yeah. softens your hair, it helps treat split ends and frizz and all those things that we don't like in our right. hair and stuff like that. But so. you don't really know how much is in those versus this, you know, exactly you how much is in there. Don't. <laughs> yep, we're giving it all away here. So we use 12 grams of argan oil. And then next, we do sweet almond oil. So sweet almond oil softens and shines your hair, makes it really shiny, or your beard. So softens and shines your beard. So you have a nice, soft, shiny kind of beard. It's good absorption too, right? Yeah, yeah, really good absorption. It's good for like dry and damaged things and stuff like that, which could be your, your beard. So, uh, so that's what sweet almond oil does. And we're using five grams. So these last little ones, we're using five grams of each. So five grams of sweet almond oil. And the next one, we're using five grams of grapeseed oil. Um, so what grapeseed oil does, it treats dry skin, which would be dandruff, um, you know, dry skin or dandruff. It's, it strengthens hair because it stimulates the follicles. So again, follicle stimulation for healthy hair strengthens the hair along the way too. Um, That's good too, but you're probably, and guys probably aren't moist, I don't even put moisturize underneath the beard with like lotion or something. Correct. So having the beard balm with the skin loving properties yeah. in there really helps the skin underneath the beard. Too. It does, yeah. That's important. That's a, you want to keep the skin healthy underneath because otherwise it won't grow your nice, nice, beautiful beard. 
or handsome beard. <laughs> uh, yeah. And then the last but not least in the carrier oil that we have that we're using today is avocado oil. Um, and what avocado oil does, it's again stimulates the follicles um, for healthy hair growth. So very nice there too. Uh, yeah. It doesn't clog skin. So all of these are easily absorbed and they're not skin clogging either. So if your skin clogs, then your follicles are going to be clogged. They're not going to produce. It's not going to be healthy. So these are all very easily absorbed oils. Castor. Right. That's like a skin. Castor is, yeah, very heavy on the skin. Even olive oil is very heavy on the skin too. Very, it's good to protect and stuff, but um, not necessarily to, uh, right. not necessarily to, to stimulate your follicles or anything like that. Right. So. Your face is definitely more sensitive too. Mm -hmm. So since we want this balm to be like a paste-like consistency, um, and we have all oils, we want to harden it up with something. So I chose beeswax because I love beeswax. Beeswax is going to um, solidify the formula, also add a, a layer of you know protection to it too. So all these beautiful oils that you're putting into your beard and stuff like that, the, the beeswax is just going to kind of seal and protect it. If you've ever made lotion with beeswax, you know how nice the lotion feels like you put it on your skin. and it protects your skin and stuff like that too from any kind of free radicals and stuff so um and if you want a vegan option um, you could always use the the carnival wax so you don't have to use the beeswax i like the beeswax better because it's a little more um, pliable and, and sticky this tends to make it a little harder it's not bad um but just a different kind of consistency so i prefer the beeswax consistency what about the soy wax I don't see why you couldn't use soy wax. Soy wax might be a bit oily though, so I would test that. So beeswax and carnauba wax aren't as, as oily as, yeah. yeah, they're harder, where soy wax is softer. So um, we're using 20%, so that's 20 grams in the recipe. Uh, soy wax, you might have to go a little higher on the soy wax. I'm not exactly sure, I didn't really play with that, so. Um, but <laughs> great question, that's a great question. Um, and then next we have vitamin E oil. So vitamin E oil is an antioxidant. It's going to help keep all these fresher. So we don't have to use a preservative in this because there's no water. So we want something to keep the oils fresher and longer. Um, it's also an antioxidant, which is, means anti-aging, um, antioxidant preserves, can preserve the beard too. So it's a good additive, not only good for your skin, good for your hair, good for the formula too, to keep your oils from, from going rancid. So we have vitamin E. Um, I'm using that at 3%, so there's three grams in this recipe. Again, you can adjust that a little depending on like how much vitamin E you want to put in there. So I don't usually, more than 5%, I don't know if it's um, any more effective than using 3%, uh, but completely up to you. I, I chose 3%. It's a more expensive one too. So it is. Yeah. yeah. Using more is not necessarily helping. And exactly. It tends to be a bit sticky cost. too. And is, I don't want it yeah. to be sticky. So it's effective, but a little bit sticky. So, and then. Um, we have essential oils. So essential oils can be awesome for your hair too. I chose three. I have a whole list of ones that are really good for hair. Um, but what I was looking for in the essential oils that we're using is something that um, is going to treat your the dandruff and the dry skin, you know, help with that out, unclog pores to stimulate the follicles. Um, and then essential oils with circulatory benefits too. So right, if your circulation and your blood flow is good in your, in your skin, then the beard and the hair follicles are going to be happy and more hair so um so i chose ones for that if any of you have ever taken any of my hair classes you know that my favorite favorite thing is uh, lemon and rosemary mixed at 50 50. Um, but for this for the beard balm i just wanted it to be a little more rugged the rosemary is very um very piney and earthy but i also put cedar wood in the recipe so um for the essential oil blend that we're using we're using 24 drops of cedar wood 12 drops of rosemary and 12 drops of lemon other good ones to use that you might want to think about. So like if you dive again, it's just 24, um, no, I'm sorry, 36 drops, no, 48 drops total, sorry. 24 cedar wood, 20, 12 <laughs> rosemary, 12 lemon, that's 48 drops total. So you could use 48 drops of whatever essential oils that you choose. Other good ones for your hair would be tea tree, um, peppermint. You see a lot of hair care products with both of those in them. Um, cinnamon, if you're doing this, this could also be a Christmas present for dad. So something with a little cinnamon adds a little spice. Oh, too much cinnamon. That's no, important. it's a very hot, yeah, yeah, it's a very hot oil. Same with clove. Clove is also very good for your, for your skin and stuff like that too, but it's, 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 um, a spicy, it's a hot oil. So you wouldn't want to use too much of that. Uh, lemongrass is also very good, very uplifting too. Black pepper, um, lavender, lavender is good for everything. Uh, 
pine, any kind of pine, and pine goes real well with men's skincare products too. Because men love pine. Everybody loves pine. Sure. Pine's really yeah. good. You take Scotch wood. Yeah, I take the thing. It's great. Yep, <laughs> wooden pine. Um, now geranium. Now that's a little bit rosy smelling, but when blended with like cedar and pine and stuff like that, geranium is actually very nice. It just adds, uh, sweetens it up a little, adds a little floral to it, um, and it makes it very nice. And then another one is patchouli. You want to deepen it up, um, a little bit richer of a scent. You can use patchouli too. Also very good for hair. Could you use fragrance oil? You could use fragrance oil too. Um, I chose to use, yeah, fragrance oil is fine. A lot of people use fragrance oils in there too. Long I chose to use, safe, though. long yep. as it's skin safe. Yep, you would still use it at the 2%. This is a 2% ratio, yes, um, which is normal. Look at the Efron there and there. Mm -hmm. I think there is a section where it says face products. Sorry, right. look at specifically that area. Correct, okay. yeah. Right. I wouldn't use more than 2%, so yeah. Yeah. it's not a perfume, it's mm -hmm. a beard balm. Uh, but we do want it to have a sun pump. I picked essential oils because they have their own kind of therapeutic benefits. So, so that's why I chose the essential oils versus the fragrance oils. But you could swap it out and use, you know, the 48 drops of fragrance oils too, no problem at all. So. All Amber's right, staring at me. So, what? <laughs> Amber's joining in. Uh, um, if you guys have any questions as we're going along, feel free to put them in the chat and ask it. Yeah. Um, we'll go back at the end and go through all the questions. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. So don't forget. And as <laughs> usual, we always have this viewing for later. So if you just came on and missed a few, you're not going to miss it. You can always watch it later and everything too. So save it on Facebook page and on the YouTube channel. Yep. Yep. We save them forever and ever and ever. So um, so we can look back and look how ridiculous we look. I don't watch any of our videos. So <laughs> don't, don't watch it. Um, I think we're better now. Some of the early ones probably are a little rough. A little, yeah, some of them. Got <laughs> so, all right. So what I did that you missed, and you don't need to see me weigh every individual ingredient. I took each individual one and weighed it and put it in this little pot back here, which is nicely melted now. Looks very beautiful. I don't know if you can see it or not. Try not to spill it. Yeah. So it's just a nice. Yeah. And then for Instagram yeah. over here, Facebook and YouTube, I'm really far. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, oh, you know what I can do? Too. Oh, there you go. So it's uh, clear. This is smart. Yeah. Here's a better way to see it. So, so the, see the things you weigh very in already melted were right. just the oils and the wax, right? Not the vitamin E or the essential oil. Nope. I didn't put the vitamin E or the essential oil in. We still need to add that. I don't like to heat essential oils because it kind of kills them. Essential oils are volatile plant oils, so we don't heat those up. But that's what it looks like. Do you have to worry about the temperature right now or anything? Nope, because we want it to be solid. This literally takes a long time to solidify or whatever. Um, we do want it to be. Months, I'm sure. Yeah, I didn't have this on very hot, so it's you know it's a it's a little warm. Um, we want it to be as cool as possible before we add the essential oils, but we don't want it to cool down too much, or we're not going to be able to pour yeah. it into our container. So you can even see some on the top part yeah. where it is drying a little bit. The wax, the bee wax is drying a little bit on the top, so yeah. But no biggie. We're not going to worry about that. So. So we'll add the vitamin E. That was a little hot. <laughs> yeah. Don't touch that pot. Oops. Put these aside. So even after this is already on there, if we turn our scale on and hit tear, it will zero it out. So all we're doing is weighing out our vitamin E. That's all we need to weigh out because the essential oils will count drops. Christine will count drops. Okay. What are we, yeah. how are we doing? That's so the vitamin E, we want three grams. I put a little squirt top on it so it's a little hopefully easier to use. It's very thick. Vitamin E is very yeah. thick, so it's like I'm squeezing pretty hard. Yeah. Imagine like honey. It's like the consistency of honey. So honey in a little squeeze bottle is not not that easy. All right. She's using her muscles. There. All right. Now the essential oils. Sorry, right. start with rosemary. Twelve drop. Oh, he doesn't have a drop line. Little droppers over there. Figures next one down. No, next door down. Oh. <laughs> Man, right in the back. Yeah. Okay. Let's get a plate bed. It doesn't have the euro top. We get a plate bed. So. Whoa. Go gently. How much do you think of that? Three drops. 
It's easier when they have the Euro tops on. All right, we're going to say that's good. Yeah, this iPad's not really great either. It's like that. Look how big. Uh, yeah, the opening. I don't like those either. That's why they're in the classroom. <laughs> well, we actually have it a lot nicer. Cedarwood. He has the Euro drops. So we're good here. How many drops of cedarwood? Twenty-four. Twenty-four drops of cedarwood. how to get essential oils out without having to shake them like that um there is a little thing on there that you look line it up but so in the euro dropper if you have the side with tabby. the euro dropper the plug near the hand that you pour with it, it there we go. we'll do it on this side okay. all right there's a little tappy thing all right little secret of the day well, that smells fantastic Lemon, 24 of rosemary, or sorry, 12 of rosemary, 24 of fuel. Real good. All right. Stir him up. Mix that up good. Put it on pouring. Let's use this jar. Okay. can give it to Andrew for Father's Day. For Father of Amber? Yeah. <laughs> Andrew's his beard Christine's new husband. His beard will be back by then, too. <laughs> he shaved his beard off by accident. He had an accent. I <laughs> shaved an accent, so I had to shave the whole thing. Yeah. But it's it's coming back now. He's got some good scruff going. So. Yeah, maybe yeah, he looks this on his scruff. Look at all those things. This single hair follicles. Maybe he'll have his beard to grow faster. <laughs> he was not happy about it. No. He looks like he's like 17 years old yeah. now. So. Granted, I've never seen him with a clean shaven face either. So. Yeah. He didn't he tell did. me either. He was like, oh, I'm surprised for you when you get home. We didn't do Okay. <laughs> After the wedding. That's true. Would have been weird then. Pour in the jar. I'm going to do it with my Oh, look at me. Yeah, look at that. Right. Looks great. It does look great. Cool. And, and then it. leave it on cap till it's, it's solid. It takes forever. Give it a full 24 hours to get solid. So it Could may you put it before before you get Yes, that's a nice thing about it. One thing about, though, having the wax in there, sometimes if you try to speed it up and put it in the fridge, uh, the wax cracks. Um, yeah, so I, I just usually let it sit out. I'll put a paper towel over top so nothing falls in it or anything like that. So, um, But you could speed it up by putting it in the fridge. If it does crack, just heat it up with a little heat gun to fill in the cracks or anything. So like now that it's going to get warmer, it takes a little bit longer than mm -hmm. to solidify. So. Yep. And this recipe multiplies out very nicely. So if you wanted to do, you know, a bunch of four ounces or two ounces or something like that. I forgot to turn my phone. Yeah, I'm clearly. grabbing my phone each time. So sorry. Um, if you wanted to multiply it out and do, you know, a bunch of different one, two ounces or whatever, it multiplies out very nicely too. So so that you can make a big batch and sell it. If you're selling it, you'll probably want to make a bigger batch or whatever. So yeah, they can put the nice drops stuff. into actual grams too. Correct. Yes. Right. Yep. That'll make it easier. So, yeah. Well, that's our beard mom for today. Do you want to look at the questions? So, yeah. Tell us hi if you're on too. Let us know you're out there. Give us a wave. Tell See us hi. Instagram first. You got anything? All right. Do you have any questions? Post it. We will put the rest of <laughs> So, said, so, ooh, make, we make stuff today. Yes, we are. Yeah. Do you guys like the videos when we make June stuff? Ni June 19th It's Father's Day. Oh, thank you. June 19th is <laughs> Father's Day. It's always around. Could you repeat the the percentages? Just want to go through that one more yes. time. Yes. Okay. Percentages in this recipe that we use. We use 75% carrier oils. That would be these, these light oils here, anything liquid. We use 20% beeswax or carnauba wax to solidify everything up. We use 3% vitamin E. We use 2% essential oils. All that equals 100%. So you could also use that, you know, in percentages if you're calculating a big recipe too. So if you want to do, you know, however many, you know, if you want to do uh, 50 ounces of it, you know, do 25, two ounces. So you need 50 ounces total. You could just take those percentages and and calculate it out. So the other question was a vegan wax. Yep. So the carnauba oil or carnauba yeah. wax. You could use that. That's for, vegan. Yeah. Vegan one. Yep. Uh, or as Christine mentioned, the soy wax. Potentially, yeah. Got some highs. That's a 
long one. Yeah. Tammy says, Jason will be so excited. He's been acting a fool for me to make him some. <laughs> oh, nice. Good. Yeah, this is a really nice one, too. It smells fantastic right here. So Let's do it it's over really, here. Really All right. Uh, and then Crystal accommodated. Tins are good for traveling, so you don't have to worry about jars breaking. That's, That's candles true. and supplies. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good one, Crystal. Yeah. yeah they All right. Travel That's it. Good, so. Hi, Connie and Swimmer. Some other friends on there. Yay. Yay. Yeah. Well, that's our one of our Father's Day inspired projects. So look for blog posts and stuff like that. So we'll probably post some of these. We have a lot of really cool ones. And we have, you know, like shaving ones and stuff for your unbearded dads. So also good for the ladies. Or, like, too. or if you're cleaning up too. Yeah. Shaving. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, we have a lot of different ones. So we'll get some blog posts going on those. Um, before Father's Day and then after Father's Day, we have a summer series of all kinds of fun things to do while your kids are at home. So easy, oh. fun things to make. Yeah. I didn't tell you about that, but no, that's what didn't. we're going to do next because it's fun. So I've been inspired like sand candles. I've been inspired mm -hmm. ice candles, all those I super like fun things. Candles there. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to have a whole summer series after our father's day series. So look forward to that. You know. All right. All right. So, good. Well, that's it for today, everybody. Thanks all for right. watching. Thank Happy Wednesday. Happy June 1st. Enjoy the rest of your week and we will see you next week.